So branding is finally here for reporting services. I'm gonna show you how to go from the original layout to the multi-color brand package to a final product. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon and welcome to Guy in a Cube, a channel focused on helping you and your business learn and explore Microsoft Business Intelligence products. And what better way to do that than to take a look at how we can create brand packages for reporting services. Brand packages are a new feature inside of Reporting Services 2016 and it was available with the recent RC1 release. A brand package allows you to really custom theme reporting services to fit the color scheme that you want if you don't want the base color scheme that comes with the product. It also allows you to add an image that may relate to your brand or your company. So we're gonna go through what these elements are and really help you understand how you can get a brand package as quickly as possible and up and running to play with. So let's break down what a brand package is. And really, it's just a zip file that contains up to three items. The first being the metadata.xml, and all this is is really just a definition for the contents of the package. It's gonna outline the two other items that are gonna be in that zip file. The first being colors.json. And this is a file that contains all of the color implementation that you want in your brand package. We'll get back to that in a second. The other item which is optional is the logo.png file. And this is the image that will get displayed on top of where you would normally see SQL reporting services. So by default in the header of reporting services, it's gonna have whatever name you've declared within the site settings. The logo.png will replace that with whatever that picture is. That picture will get auto-scaled by the report server. When I went to inspect that element, I found that it was around 290 by 60 pixels. So if you want the proportions to look right, shoot for that. Okay, that's the structure of the brand package. Let's take a look at the colors.json because that's really the meat of the brand package. So reporting services uses a less based style. And if you actually go look inside of what a less based piece is, it uses variables and we're gonna merge all of that together. And the way we do that is with that colors.json file. So what the colors.json really is, is just setting the variables that are used with inside of the less branding. So each element is outlined in the JSON file and you can have a six digit color representation as part of it. There are two main areas within inside of the colors.json. First is interface, and that's really all about the web portal experience in reporting services. The other area is called theme, and that's about the mobile reports that you can do with inside a mobile report publisher. So Chris Finland posted a blog post where he had a sample package called Multicolor Branding. We also released the official documentation for branding last Friday, and that includes the sample colors.json, which includes that multicolor brand package. Now, the multicolor brand package is gonna look pretty ugly, but what it allows you to do is figure out which colors go for which areas in the web portal. There are a bunch of web applications out there that you can use in terms of figuring out what the six digit hex color representation is. In Chris's example and what I'm gonna use, we're gonna use color-hex.com. You can pump in the six digit hex color and it'll give you the color gradients that are available to you. So you can kind of see what that range is. So the way that I went about creating the Guy in a Cube brand package is I applied the multicolor brand package that Chris provided and that's in our official documentation. And then I went through each area inside of that multicolor brand package. So let's break those down. The first one's gonna be the primary section, and this is about the buttons that you see with inside of reporting services. I started with a darker primary color that matched my Guy in a Cube logo, and then I got the color gradients from that, and I went from dark all the way to light. Once I was done with that, I actually applied that brand package to see what it looked like at that point. The secondary section is all about the title bar, the search bar, and the left nav if it's present. So I went with a lighter color for that and shaded up to a dark color. The neutral primary area is for the home background and the report background. So I kind of went with an off-white so it wasn't as harsh. Neutral secondary is all about the text box backgrounds as well as the settings menus and folder options. Neutral tertiary is all about the site settings background. So it's kind of that orangish, peachish color that you see in the multicolor brand package. The danger warning success messages, those are displayed there. Those are pretty obvious what those are. The KPIs are pretty cool. The default colors for those are good as green, neutral as orange, bad as red, and none is black. But what you can do here is you can define what those colors are. So you don't have to go with those standard colors. So the data you would pull in typically is a zero, a one, or a negative one. And so as long as those number values are coming back from your data perspective, 
then you can define what those colors are actually gonna be for those values. Okay, once I was done going back and forth, it was kind of a trial and error, making sure the colors were okay, using the color-hex.com to figure out what those gradients are, I came up with this brand package. I thought it came out pretty good. And the other thing I added was, I did add my logo for Gynacube to the metadata.xml, and then I zipped those three files up, called it Gynacube brand.zip, and then I uploaded that through the brand settings. So that's how you can use a brand package to get reporting services to look the way that you want it to. I'd love to hear your feedback. Go ahead and leave that in the comments below and let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, some of this is gonna be trial and error. Also, be sure to check out the comments and see if you can help answer anyone's questions there. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item such as this, where I either look at how to troubleshoot something, how something works, or take a look at a new feature. Every Thursday I do an information roundup where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me, and share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.